Good afternoon. Today with me is Moore Miller, Executive Vice President at Tango Tech. Good afternoon, Moore. Good afternoon, Shimon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Um, Moore, you are dealing a lot with uh, uh, what we call telco players, uh, ISPs. Um, you're talking with them about some of the challenges that they are facing in today's business. Uh, well, what are they? Well, can you give us some insights into the world of those uh, triple players? Yeah, well, you know, nowadays, um, high-speed internet and triple play services have been in high demand from the consumers. And the service providers are trying to provide both IPTV, VoIP, and data services to the home. Now the challenges they're having is how do they get those services distributed within the home or a building without having to spend significant amount of time and efforts in running wiring throughout the building. Um, that's their main challenges. So they're looking for solutions on how to be able to do that quickly and as cheap as possible. What is, what is the problem with the existing uh, wiring, existing net, uh, infrastructure, let's say? Well, um, what, well, what there is, there's, there's a number of options. Uh, what, there's, there, what could be done? There could, you could use the Ethernet cables if the building does have. Uh, majority of buildings do not have Ethernet cables unless they're new. Yep. Uh, so the other options are coaxial cables yep. or telephone lines. Um, and those are wires that are being used for like uh, services to the home using DOCSIS or VDSL through the telephone line. But that is just one gateway in a home. After you get into the home, then you have to distribute those services within a home. So if you want to have three television sets with IPTV, how do you then network the, the home itself to those three TVs? Okay. And what are some of the existing solutions that they're using at the moment uh, to solve these problems? Um, currently, there are at least three technologies out there. Um, there's Boca technology that's being used primarily by cable operators, um, and that is for, um, for Verizon, for example, is a big operator that's doing it. And then the, the next technology would be HPNA, which is primarily used by Telcos. And then power line technologies, which is used over the power line. Um, and that's primarily strong in Europe and picking pace in the United States. Okay. And what, what is your view on each of those? Um, all of them have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, Mocha is strong because they're... They're very uh, well um, used with DOCSIS and cable TV operators. Um, and then HPNA um, is used over the phone line or the coax. Um, and they're primarily used by the telcos. Mm -hmm. um, but both have the limitations because there's not much uh, endpoints in the home with cable or telephone. So what's left is another technology which is the power line, which power line is everywhere in the home. Um, but there are the weaknesses of power line. There's noises in the power line, you don't get as much performance, and that's why a lot of the operators in the United States tend to use either HPNA or MOCA technology. Okay. And and yeah. here it comes, you know, company uh, uh, called Tango Tech. And mm -hmm. what kind of smart solution have you developed? Well what we've done is We've seen the significance of power line in Europe, and now with um, power line performance increasing substantially, um, we've actually, what we've done is used that same standard and with a proprietary technology, um, distributed the home plug AV over all three infrastructures. So you have your coax, your telephone, and your power line. Now they can be used, all three of them, with the same standard, throughout the house. So you're not tied up to just a coax network or a telephone network or a power line network. You have now all three mediums in the home that can be used simultaneously. So for example, you can an operator can come into the house, plug in one room to the power outlet, plug one room into a coax, 
And if they want to use a telephone line, they can also plug in another room in the telephone line and you can stream IPTV in high definition in all those three mediums in that one house. So you're not tied up to one infrastructure or maybe that infrastructure in that particular house is not good, so you have options to choose which infrastructure to use with that same box. You don't have yep. to decide, am I going to use HPNA in this house or Mocha in this house or Powerline, is it going to work here or not? So that's what we're bringing to the, to the market. Um, it's been successful. People um, have deployed it successfully and we're very happy. And what what is the what, let's say what are, what are some of the main advantages of, of using those? Because now you're saying okay, instead of taking only one uh, cable type of cable, I'll take three different ones. Uh, so what are so it seems that you know it's it makes it even more complicated. No, I mean unless there are big big advantages, big benefits in using it. Yeah, well. The big advantage is giving the operator the flexibility to choose which medium suits their needs for that particular customer. Some homes, they don't have coax, or they may not have telephone line in that particular place. They can choose the power line in that, in that room or in that house. If, for example, maybe the power line communication is not good on the other end of the house, they can use the coax. So it gives them, first of all, the flexibility to choose any medium they want. Secondly, um, with... HomePlug's new uh, power line performance of 500 megabits per second, we are substantially better than anything on the market right now. So we're getting up to 350 megabits per second over the coax, two, uh, 300 over the telephone line, and 250 megabits per second over the power line. So these are actual throughputs that you're getting over these infrastructures, which is substantially better than anything else on the market right now, including Mocha or HPNA. And um, so that's that's what we're bringing to the market. High performance, flexibility, yeah. and one box. And is there, looking at the future, we'll probably will need more and more. Is there any cap to, to, the, uh, to the speed that eventually can be extracted out of these cables? Um, does have their, their limitations at some point. Um, coax, I believe, it has the, the, the most bandwidth capacity. Um, what is the future is G.HN. Um, Tango Tech is, is also in the business of developing an ASIC, a G.HN chip, which is a new standard that's coming out, which is basically on the base, same idea of what we're currently doing based on Home Plug AV except it's a completely new standard that was developed by the industry, by Best Buy, by AT&T, by Telefonica, by the big operators around the world, requesting one standard over all three mediums. We're already doing that with Homeplug AD, but with G.HN, what's different about it is that it's one gigabit per second over the infrastructure. So you're gonna see in the future, next year, devices coming out to market with one gigabit per second. Okay, interesting. And um, you're going to present at the IBC, you're going to be as part of the Israeli uh, pavilion. Uh, could you give us some uh, insights into what are you going to show us there? Yeah, what we're going to do is present our latest product. It's our 500 megabit free wire network system. It's basically, like I explained, it's a free, free wire infrastructure solution with 350 megabits per second over the coax, 350 mega, or 200, 300 megabytes per second over the telephone, and 250 megabytes per second over the power line. So that's what we're going we're gonna to have at the show. We, glad, we gladly uh, show you what we're able to do yep. and, and give you documentation for you to check it out. Okay, cool. So those of you who would like to speak with more, more in more uh, depth, during the IBC, please go to www.israelmediainnovation.com and you can book directly a pre book a meeting with him during the uh, one of the days at IBC. Thank you very much, more for your time, Thank and you. looking forward to seeing you at the IBC. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.